So we have some friends who have a bearded dragon who laid some eggs. So I've always been curious as to what lizard eggs might, uh, might taste like. These are the eggs they were laid earlier today. These are they're actually kind of leathery and uh, squishy. So they don't really have a hard shell. So I think my plan is to boil these. All right, so before we uh, boil them, I'm gonna cut one open that's raw and see what it looks like. And it is tough to cut. It's got a very tough shell. You. But look at that yellow. There's no baby inside? Come out. Huh? There's no baby No, it wasn't fertilized. Mm -hmm. No. But that's, that's what's on the inside of it. We'll see what it looks like after we boil a few of them. Okay, so here we got boiling water. I'm gonna do three of these. I don't know how long to cook them for, but uh, the water is boiling right now. I'll probably mm -hmm. bring it down a little bit. We're gonna drop them in. Maybe set the timer for, I'm not sure how long. A regular egg, you do, three. what, eight minutes? No, seven. So maybe do like three minutes on this. So here they are boiling. Mostly floating at the top. We got about, you're gonna put this for three minutes. We'll try how this, see how this goes with three minutes. Got about 30 seconds left. All right, so three minutes is up. Let's pull them out. See what they like. Still got a rubbery shell. All right. Cut that All right. Out. So here we go. We'll try see how these are. It's still, again, kind of rubbery. Whoa! I think maybe I gotta cook it some more. Yeah, we're gonna cook it some more. All right, so we put I put them back in for another um, four minutes. So they've been in the water now for uh, seven minutes total, about what you put a regular egg in for. Um, they're about the size of a quail egg, so it's kind of interesting with that. So they're still very uh, soft. And, uh, and leathery. So we'll penetrate it this time and see how it goes. Wow, still runny. But it seems like it's getting a little firmer. I'm not ready to try tasting that yet. I think I have to cook it, cook it some more. All right, so my daughters have suggested that I scramble the eggs. So, uh, Get a few of these going, I guess. I have to do a lot of eggs to get enough to scramble. So while I did put the other egg, the last one that I already cooked somewhat, back in the uh, pan or the pot to boil some more. Ooh, that one's really thick. Um, so I've got, uh, I put it in for another five minutes. So we'll see how that goes. Doesn't have any odor, doesn't smell. Be a really small scrambled egg. <laughs> this is for the not for the faint of heart here. So anyone who gets squeamish. I don't smell bad. Peel the eggs apart. Not like a typical chicken egg. <clears throat> there wasn't much in that one. Okay, 
Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so I've got about 23 eggs in, or so in here. It's a whole lot, or not a whole lot for all these eggs. See the remnants of them? Squeezed them off in there. My daughter wants to stir it up. So we're gonna make scrambled eggs with this. Probably need to add a little bit of milk to it. I like milk in my eggs too. All right, so you got just a little bit of milk in there. Cut it a little bit. It looks really rich. Actually, I might want to put a little bit more in there. Stir it up. It's gonna be some really rich eggs. Looks like. Okay. Okay. All bearded dragon lizard eggs. Going for scrambled eggs. Get every drop out there that we can. All right. No, I want the spatula. I need the spatula. All right, so it's starting to thicken, which you would expect. Still have the last egg boiling here. It's taking forever. Oh, look at that! It's kind of boiling. I think I'll turn this down a little bit. The plate. This might cook up pretty quick. I like my eggs usually a little bit runny. I'm not sure if I'll do that on this one. But, all right. That's a whole lot faster than boiling them, isn't it? Look at that. It smells like eggs. All right, so here it is, scrambled eggs. I probably put a little salt on this. Scrambled bearded dragon eggs. There's 23 of them here. So my daughter here said she would try it if I thought it was okay. So I'm gonna take my first taste here. Bearded dragon lizard eggs, scrambled. It's creamy. Tastes like eggs. You ready to try a bite? There you go. It tastes like <laughs> eggs. What do you think? It tastes like eggs. The first time you taste it, it's like wow. Uh huh. It's different, and then you get to it, and it's like it different. different. It's very very rich and very creamy. So first time for me to ever eat lizard eggs. Maybe a little more salt, you think? A little more salt. Alright, so maybe on a scale from 1 to 10, I would probably grade this maybe a 6. Might be better ways to cook it, but we you know, for trying to uh, get this figured out on short notice. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. And um, be adventurous. All right, so this has been boiling for probably 20 minutes now. I actually stopped timing it. But um, I think we're going to try it. It does feel maybe a little more firm on the inside, so maybe it's finally, we finally have a boiled lizard egg. That's, you know, well, actually it almost looks like scrambled eggs inside as that comes out. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Alright, put a little salt on it. 
This is my adventurous eater here. Tastes about the same. Tastes about the same. So amazing. Doughier, you, you can, not creamier. You can uh, get it done by definitely by scrambling it a whole lot faster than boiling. It looks like. It's similar. Except a little creamier. A little creamier. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, again, don't be afraid to eat stuff. Be adventurous.